getting a digital audiobook from the library on your MP3 player. To complete this, you will need your library card, your MP3 player and USB cord for your MP3 player, and OverDrive Media Console installed on your home computer. First, if you're not already there, type ohioebooks.com into the address bar to go to the Ohio Digital Library website. First, let's find an audiobook you'd like to check out. You can search for an audiobook by title by clicking on the text box next to the magnifying glass, or by browsing one of the categories listed on the main menu. Let's select All Fiction. You can also limit your selection to formats you know that will be compatible with your device. The MP3 format is compatible with most devices. Let's select MP3 audiobook. You can also limit your results to only items that have a copy available. To do that, click the Show Me Only Titles with Copies Available button. You can tell an item is available if the icon in the upper right hand corner is dark. For example, today The Love Curse of the Rimbaz by Jack Gantos is available. After clicking on the title to select the item, click on Borrow to borrow the item. You will now be prompted to enter the name of your library. Type your library's name into the box. Next, enter your library card number, and in some cases, your library card's PIN number, and click Sign In. After you've signed in, you will be directed to your bookshelf. This will show you all of the items you have checked out. Select the upside down triangle, select MP3 audiobook. Then click on Confirm and Download. A box like this one should now open up. You'll now be prompted to select where you'd like to save this item. Most people select the default. Click OK to continue. You may see a dialog box like this one. Click Yes to continue. Here you can select which parts of your audiobook you'd like to download. Because audio files are very large and sometimes take a long time to download, some people choose to download them piece by piece rather as a whole. Check the sections of the audiobook you wish to download at this time. After you have made your selection, click the OK button to continue. Your audiobook will now download. Now it's time to transfer your audiobook from your computer to your MP3 player. Get out your USB cord and connect one end into your computer and the other end into your MP3 player. Now that you have your audiobook downloaded to your computer, it's time to transfer the item to your MP3 player. First, click on the title you would like to transfer. Now click the transfer button. You will now see a dialog box like this one appear. Click on the Next button to continue. You can now select which parts of the audiobook you'd like to transfer over to your MP3 player. Select the sections that you would like to be transferred and click the Next button. Once the items have been transferred to your MP3 player, you will see a message like this one. Click on Finished. Your audiobook is now on your MP3 player. Go ahead and disconnect your MP3 player from the USB cord. Your audiobook should be available to play as you would any other audio item.